I'd like to introduce Larry Weirs right now. Larry, will you tell us a little bit about tonight's event? Sure, Connie. Uh, we'd like to welcome all of our middle schoolers from eight Joliet Public Schools and St. Raymond's Cathedral. Uh, they are here to uh, exhibit their businesses that they've been developing under the Entrepreneurship Club uh, program that Joliet Chamber sponsors. We have 83 middle school students here tonight representing those eight schools, and they've all developed their businesses, filed their uh, business plan, and they're about ready to launch. And so hopefully we'll have a good turnout from our community here to visit with our students. I think it's an exciting event. So now why don't we go visit some of the students and see what their businesses are? That'd be great. Well, here's a group that I found along my travels today at USF. And girls, I'd like you to introduce yourselves. I'm Katia. And? I'm Leslie. And Leslie, what school are you two girls from? Laraway. Laraway. I went to Laraway. Oh, well, this was a perfect choice. Okay, girls, can you tell me a little bit about your business? And, and I want both of you to talk, so go ahead. We'll start over here. Um, our business started off by um, having trouble finding clothes for full-figure teens that are female. Excellent. What a great idea. So tell me, like, how long have you worked on your business? And, and give, us some, give me some of the ins and outs of the business. Um, we worked, like, a few weeks, like, more than six. And um, we've worked hard because some girls struggle, but like finding clothes and then they have to go to the women's section and find clothes for them. Okay, so in when you were working on your project, tell me what are some of the, the things that you found that are that's going to solve this problem now? Why did what makes your business work? The it makes our business work because it's a cute fashionable clothes and it's um, a, a perfect size for you. I like that. That is a great idea. Now, I know you had to establish a business plan. Can you talk to me a little bit about that? Um, well, first we didn't know what to do, but then um, a friend told us that she was struggling finding clothes, and then we came up with the idea. I love the idea. Girls, I think you did a great job, and I'm really excited to learn more, and good luck tonight. I think it's wonderful. Good for you both. Thank you. Thank you. Well, here's a group of handsome boys that I found today at USF. I'd like to, each of you to tell us your name. Uh, my name is Timothy Williams, and I go to Lairway School. Thank you. My name is Deshaun Gavin, and I go to Lairway. Okay. My name is Brayden Washington, and I go to Lairway. My name is Deshaun, Daywan Gavin, and I go to Lairway. Thank you very much. Guys, tell me a little bit about your business. I'll go here first. What we did here is, even that happened to me in the past, like we're unorganized, we forget our homework and stuff. So we made a binder that we can keep tablets, calculators, rulers, everything you need for it to be prepared for class. That's a great idea. I'm a school principal and I see unorganized students all the time. I love this idea. What else can you tell me about your business? Um, with this, um, there's an improvement in grades and your parents will be happy with the grades you're getting with the P no, new PO binder. I love it. Okay, tell me a little bit. I know you had to file a business plan. I know that you had to do things with pricing, etc. Can you guys help me a little bit on that? Fill me in. Well, with the business plan, what we did is we had to do all our logo and telling what is our competitors and what's going to be what we're going to have to compete against. Then after that, we're going to have to show our strategy and how much money we're going to get from the bank to build this. Well, from the bank, we got uh, $3,000 and we spent that to build our Maisie commercial and our binder we built. Okay, we'll do a close-up of the binder in a little bit. What else can you tell me? How, why do you think your business will be a success? Because that, because I know that I know when kids, it be like, like, oh, I've got my, I've got my homework. You no, know, we had, we had made this binder. It be like, here you go. It makes you, it makes you organize through, what's through middle school and college. It be like, okay, now I'm better. I love that. I love that it, you, you're thinking into the future, too, not just in your middle school years, but going on from there. Guys, I think this is a great idea, and I think that it would be something not even just students would like, but their parents are going to love this idea, too. Good for you. Congratulations on your great idea. Thank, Thank you. you. You're welcome. Even extra sheet of paper. Even calculator. With a whole bunch of different pockets. Yes, you can. 
On the front, you can design it any way you want it. Any way. Online, once you order it, you can come up, customize it the way your personality is to fit you in school. Yeah, best anything you want. If you get this, not for sure you're going to make better grades, but there's a way better chance that you'll be an A and B student. Yes, good. I want that. My parents do too. You should order it online. I have the new PO by now. Ms. Johnson, what do you think about it? I think it's a great idea. Get the PO. All right, the next group I have here, two young men that I happened upon. Would you please tell me your name? Robert Cook. And? Branson Oko. And what school do you boys go to? WBO Troy. Oh, okay. Very good. Well, I'd like you to tell me, what is your business? Um, our business is a restaurant. For It's it's like where the kids mostly get their food first so that they can go into a play area and the adults can enjoy a peaceful dinner. So it sounds like it's good for kids and adults. Yeah. This is the first restaurant idea that I've seen tonight. So tell me about your restaurant, like what you're going to serve. I mean, I know you had to have a business plan. Tell me about that. Well, we're going to serve uh, types of uh, fish and burgers and some type of meat. Okay. And how did you decide? It sounds like maybe you're going a little healthy here. How did you decide that? Well, because it's named Atlantis, so it should be healthy and probably meat, meat protein. Now, when you had to get together your ideas, did you have to like uh, decide how much money you would invest, that kind of thing? How did you get those ideas? Um, I think Brandon would be better with this question. Okay, that, I like your honesty. Well, you pro we probably uh, see how much we're going to pay and see how much, because, you know, it's a one egg kind of restaurant, so we know that it's probably going to be more successful okay. so they can come in. So we probably made it so they can made it up to higher so they'll come in and okay I like that now so do you think your restaurant would be a success in the area that we live in what what's your thoughts on that I think it would be a pretty good success and why do you feel that way well because there are a lot of kids and there are a lot sometimes parents can get a little cranky with them imagine that I know. Sometimes. No, I, I think you guys have a great idea. I like a nice backboard, etc. And I really enjoyed talking to you both. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. The next person we're going to talk to is right here. And would you please introduce yourself? I'm Shelby Schaffnett. And Shelby, what school do you go to? Rockdale Elementary. Very good. Now, Shelby, will you tell us about your business idea? Well, mine is a store called the Bumblebee which is also, I teach like classes, like I'll hire people to teach classes on how to make beads like this, like little cuffs and stuff. And I also got some stuff over here. So I love the idea, I love the name of your store. So obviously you're a girl very into beads and I was gonna ask you, what are some other things that you're going to do with your beads? Anything other than cuffs? Do you have any other little, oh this looks fancy, what's this yeah, now? <laughs> it's a case. A Game Boy, like it's styled to be like a Game Boy, but it's like a money holder. It could be also a phone case and stuff. I like that. That's neat. Now, at your store, you said that you'd offer classes. What do you? What's your business plan as far as what would you charge for the classes? At least like ten to fifteen bucks. Okay, and you provide all of the uh, craft materials that they need. Yes. So I'm assuming you'll probably make a profit on that too. You seem like a pretty smart girl, Miss <laughs> Shelby. Okay. Anything else you'd like to tell us about your business? I love this idea. Um, I don't know. It's just going to be like since they have like different brands of beads, like pony beads and stuff. If my business becomes really big, they'll have like the bumble beads and all that. And then like my store, once I have it up, I'll have different themes like called Beat It. I love like that. Michael Jackson. I get it. Yes. Because I, I, I really like Michael Jackson. Okay. So I thought, hey, why don't do an 80s theme and call it Beat It. Okay, so your store, do you think it would be like a store in a strip mall? Would it be freestanding in a mall itself? What, what do you, what's your vision for that? Yeah, I would like want it to be in a mall so most people know about it. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing I like too is obviously it's geared toward people your age, but I could see myself having fun going to something like this. You know, do you think it would also you'll have a different age clientele? Is that what you're hoping for? Yeah, I was like doing different age groups, like different classes, like maybe like 5 to 10, and then teens, and then adults if they want to learn. Okay, wonderful. I love this idea, Shelby. Very nice idea. Thank you so much Thank for talking you. to me. Hi, would you please tell me your name and what school you go to? My name is Theory Lerman, and I go to Rockdale School. All right, could you please tell me about your business that you've brought tonight? I would love to. My business is called The Detective, and what it does 
is <clears throat> it is a more advanced spell check. And what that means is that anything you write in text form will be transformed into its original word. That's a great idea. Now, I, I've got to ask this. Are you normally a good speller? Yes, I am. So I you was, like spelling? I was in my regional spelling bee. I should have guessed that. Well, tell me a little bit more. Like, what, what age group do you think is going to be the most into your business here? Well, I was thinking more like high school and college because they always spell things in text. Absolutely. You know, I'm a former English teacher, and it's kind of driving me nuts right now. So I'm really liking this idea. How are you going to... Um, put your business out there so that people know it. What, what's your advertising scheme? I was thinking more around TV because people watch TV a lot. Okay, I, that's a great idea too. Uh, tell me, I see that you know you had to have a financial plan, etc. What kind of money did you have to invest in this? We had two thousand dollars we had to invest. Okay, and was the two thousand dollars plenty for what you needed to do? Yes. What's your true hope for this? What What's your vision for your business? Well, I was going to think that I was going to have somebody more advanced than me go into making the actual app. So basically you also want to have employees for your business. It's not just all about you, you're going to yes. hire employees. I like that. How many do you think you'd need? I think I just need me and somebody to work my uh, programming. Well maybe call me and I'll fill out an application. Thank you so much for talking to me. I really enjoyed it. Well hello gentlemen. Would you please introduce yourself to me? Hi, my name is Adrian Banks. All right, and you are? Hi, my name is Zach Sparstead. And Zach, what school do you two go to? Oh, uh, we go to Lairway School. Wonderful. Okay, I'd like to know the name of your business and tell me a little bit about it, please. Okay. Well, our business name is Zap, and our slogan is something different. We came up with this idea in this project because we've seen at our school that some of our friends can't are either allergic or can't eat our food because they're allergic and when they'll get sick of it. And then a lot of us, we just don't like the food because it's bad taste bad tasting. So we came up for with an alternative a variety. I won't tell the lunch ladies that sometimes you think it doesn't taste yeah. good, but okay, go ahead, Zach. <laughs> okay, um, so right here is our um, menu, and we have honey fried chicken, yeah, uh, with different sauces, uh, barbecue, buffalo, or cheesy garlic. Then we have beef jerky, uh, nachos, milkshakes, pizza puffs, and pork and beans with potato chips. Oh, that even sounds like things that teachers might like from yeah. from yes. the cafeteria, right? We, yeah, we were hoping um, a few teachers actually, when we were doing this, said that they would, they liked it. That doesn't surprise me at all. Tell me about your pricing. Do you think your pricing is competitive with the cafeteria? Because, you know, sometimes that can be a problem. Well, no, because we start at a high price because we know these kids really want it. And after a while, we'll have start having sales and we'll start cutting back on our prices. And once that happens, all the kids will be rushing to get our food. And how are you going to advertise your business so that kids catch on to this? Um, because for now, it's just at Laraway School. So, um... I was. I wanted to see if maybe we could say it over the overhead, like the announcements. Sure. And then we were thinking, like, uh, we have a hallway down to the cafeteria, mm -hmm. so maybe we could put flyers or something. That's a great idea, and I noticed you guys do have a flyer that we'll get a close-up of later, but that was a great idea, too. Anything else you'd like to tell me? This is a great idea, guys. Uh, we love seeing smiles on our kids' face. I like that. That could be like your slogan. I love it. Very good. Well, you two were wonderful to talk to. Good luck with your business. Thank you. You're welcome. This is a business that was created by a Hufford IE student, Mariel Dean. The name of her, pro her business is Dean's Magic Mattresses. Now, this was really what I thought an inventive, very inventive idea. What she has done is she has designed a bed that is hooked up to an alarm clock. And when the alarm clock goes off, the bed vibrates to wake you up. So instead of your normal just, you know, here having the radio go on or a blaring alarm, you're woken up in the morning by a vibrating bed. I really think that Mariel should be congratulated. You did a wonderful job. I think your project and your business will be a success. Hi, can you tell me your name, please? I'm Jeremy Overcash. Okay, Jeremy, and what school do you attend? Hufford Junior High. Hufford Junior High in Joliet. Would you tell me about your business, please? Yeah, uh, it, it's called the Sharpen, and uh, I got the idea from uh, kids making disruptions in class. 
by using the big loud sharpeners. And so this is um, lightweight. Okay. Uh, it, it does not fly off your pencil when you're writing. Okay. And uh, I'm making them in uh, sets of three pencils and one sharpener, and they come in like a little bag that you sharpen your pencil over so they fall in. And what are you charging for this idea? Uh, one dollar per pencil and then a dollar and fifty cents for the pack. Very nice. I think that's a great idea. I think the teachers would love it. The kids would love it. I think you're onto something. Uh, so tell me, what's your vision in the future? How are you going to advertise your business? I think uh, flyers in school and like chalkboard, things like that. And I would think you've probably talked to some of your friends about your idea. What do they think of it? They think it's a really good idea. Okay. And how about teachers? Are teachers good with it too? Yeah. Good. I love this idea. I think it's a great, what grade are you in? Seventh. Very good. Nice idea, and I wish you must much success with your business. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, girls. Would you please introduce yourself and tell me what school you attend? Jackie Lacosto, and I go to Hufford Junior High. Okay. Um, my name is Guadalupe Moreno, and I go to Hufford Junior High. I'm Lupe Alvarado, and I go to Hufford Junior High. And what grade are you girls in? We're all in eighth grade. All in eighth grade. Okay, very good. So tell me about your business, the name of it, and a little bit about it. Uh, we're Eyes on Me, and we're an affordable clothing store. And tell me why you're looking for a more affordable clothing store at this time. So that everyone can buy it. Okay, now are you looking at clothes for teens your age or all different ages? Explain that to me. No, it's based, well, yeah, it's based on teens. Well, because today, nowadays, people like always judge other kids on what they wear and they get excluded from other um, groups of people just like by the wear and stuff so it's just like a store that brings every type of clothing in together. I like it so tell me as far as clothing is it going to be you know pants, shirts, dresses, shoes, yeah. a little bit of everything explain that to me. What's your merchandise? Um, it's everything from boys pants, shirts, jackets, shoes and there's like belts, accessories, perfumes, all that different stuff. Wow you guys have covered the gamut I really like that idea. So tell me how are are you going to advertise your store and have people want to come to your store? We're going to get a website Good and idea. a Facebook page. We're going to put a Twitter, flyers, and we have business cards. Very good. Nice idea. It sounds like you girls did a lot. I bet you girls are all good shoppers. That must be why this <laughs> business seems to be such a success with me right now. Okay, one last thought. Your business, are you thinking a store by itself? Are you thinking in a strip mall? Are you thinking in a mall? What do you? Where do you want your business to be? Um, it could be both. It could be at a store by itself, like Discovery, but it could be like Hot Topic being in the mall. Okay. So like it's easier to find. Yeah, I love it. Great idea, girls. Good luck to you all, and I think it's a great idea.